I've got a bone to pick with you. Hello and welcome to Brawl Stars. I'm Amy the Amazonian and today I'm playing Tiny Bones Trinket Thief. Somebody who rewards you for making your opponent discard cards or punishes your opponent for discarding cards as part of their normal abilities. That's right, Tiny Bones doesn't care who made your opponent discard the cards or when they discarded the cards, as long as it was during a turn before the end step, I'll be drawing some cards and losing some life. Tiny Bones also can pay six to make your opponent lose 10 life if their hand's completely empty. So this deck is all about emptying our opponent's hand, drawing cards for ourselves, and then maybe picking up a thing or two that gets discarded using cards like Turgrid or Portal to Phyrexia. This is a very, very mean deck because it's making your opponent discard. Every threat is the same when it's in your opponent's hand because your entire goal is to get rid of it. You don't want your opponent to have any spells to cast, so you're just gonna keep on making them discard. There's also some very good cards in black that have made their way into this deck, talking about cards like Shouldred, Phyrexian Obliterator, and Shouldred. Of course, we gotta have our duo of Shouldreds, but there's also some cards that are very cool and more specific to this deck that you might not see in other places, like Haunt of Hightower. This card attacks and makes your opponent discard and grows as cards go into the graveyard. It might not seem like a threat, but it can add up very quickly into a big light blinking flyer. We also have the classics like Massacre Worm, gotta have a good Massacre Worm, and some single target removal. We do have a couple board wipes in here, Meat Hook Massacre, Blood on the Snow, because if our opponent gets a big board, before I can make them discard all their spells, we have to press the emergency escape button, start all over, and then maybe get a couple cards onto the battlefield that make our opponent discard again. This is a very fun deck, but don't expect to make any friends with it. So we're going to take Tiny Bones into the queue, and we're going to look at our opponent's hand and say, hmm, not today. Tatiova Benthic Druid. For every card they draw, we'll try to make them discard. And this is a very keepable hand because it has Waste Knot and Liliana of the Veil. Waste Knot is an amazing card with any discard shell because depending on what your opponent discards, you either get zombies, mana, or cards. Waste Knot, by the way, designed by the magic community. This is truly something brought into the world by the best of us. Tatiova, though, well, that's just a really strong uncommon that Landfall draws you a card. If Tatiova gets a good start, it can be hard to stop her. She ramps up, finds those good pieces, and good luck trying to stop her from drawing all those cards, gaining those lives, and playing big green threats all while protecting herself with counter spells. Uh, each of us are going to discard a card here. I'm going to drop the Snow Covered Swamp, and they're going to drop. Booties! That means I get to draw a card! Awesome! Liliana of the Veil, by the way. Also, it just has a really strong ultimate ability, forcing your opponent to sacrifice usually around half of their permanents. A snake, a hissy baby on the battlefield. Hello, would you like to play a land? Float an extra mana and then maybe cast a spell? Papa Master Goat, thank you so much for the sub! All right, we've got ways to kill this Lotus Cobra. But I think I want to just attack my opponent's hand. We're going to start with the Invasion of Eldraine. Thought about starting with the Fell Spectre, but I wanted to see what they discarded, because if they're discarding lands, we can make them discard again. Fell Spectre, make them discard. They didn't like that, but I loved it. Lurus of the Dream Den. Even if I make my opponent discard a card, they could bring it back by playing Lurus and recasting it from the graveyard. Once per turn, they can recast something that costs two or less. Very nice. Those permanent spells are going to keep on coming back. So what do you hit here? I feel like Thought Seize could definitely take out my Swarm Saboteur. We have a Bajooka Bog, but we are kind of want to play it early just because of our mana curve. What thought do you season? Still start with a snow covered swamp. I don't have anything to cast on turn three that costs three mana. So right now I'm looking at potentially tiny bones into Nizumi informant. Just 
Agonizing remorse. Hey, I'm supposed to be the discard deck here. This actually doesn't discard, it exiles from hand. That's why it's not in this deck. Davriel would be a nice target. Stop me from using that nasty minus two ability. Well, they're taking out Rankle. You know, the master of Prankles. Some uh, removal is also recastable using Loris, especially Auras. This can be quite scary. All right, Tide of Bones is out. And Tiny Bones is exiled. Sure. We make them discard with Nizumi Informant. And they drop a... And they drop a... You only have four cards in hand. Which is it going to be? No Priest of Oblivion. Neat. It's being exiled forever. They know that I had a Bajuka Bog. They actually were targeting me for that discard first. They didn't get another land. Here's a Lunark Veteran, though. And a Blood Fountain gives them blood. We waste not. And hopefully we can get an untapped land so we can throw down Invasion of Eldraine next turn. Oh, I love Waste Knot so much. When I found out that this card is legal in Pioneer, I got so excited. It's legal in Pioneer! How could that not make you excited? Oh, by the way, if our opponent discards to their own abilities, such as using Blood, Waste Knot still triggers. Does not care who's making them discard, just that a card has been discarded. Hey, they found a third land. Nice. Also nice. We use Invasion of Eldraine to make our opponent discard twice. Unless we get, like, mana tithed here. We did not. What are you dropping? If it's creatures, we get zombies. If it's lands, we get mana. And they know the cost of everything but this in my hand. So they could discard a land knowing, oh, well, she doesn't have anything she could cast for two. Looks like they went for a land and a creature. That's a good combo. So we get a zombie and two mana. I can't use the two mana for anything. And I will swing with Nizumi Informant at Invasion of Eldraine. Loris is back. They can recast the Lunark Veteran. It's back! Must resist. Can't resist. Gabriel. We minus. Uh, always gotta choose this one. Spells that cost, cast black glass, lose six life, sacrifice two permanents, or a creature that don't control perpetually get plus one, plus one. I'll lose six life. A small cost to pay for a cheaper tiny bones. Now, the reason I didn't choose to perpetually buff their creatures is because Loris being their commander and Lunark Veteran being something that can come back over and over is kind of tricky. Would you like to attack me? No? Would you like to discard? What's that last card you've got in your hand? Is it something good? I'd like to know. Would you show me? No? Okay, well. We make them discard. And they leave the game. GG, Loris. Shatterfang, Squirrel General. They're good at making tokens. And those tokens are good at making squirrel friends. So, Shatterfang, whenever you have a creature, or sorry, any token enter the battlefield, gets you a squirrel. Or more squirrels. If you're making two tokens, you get two squirrels. Shatterfang can then yeet said squirrels to make something stronger and weaker at the same time. Increasing its power, but decreasing its toughness. I'm going to risk playing Tiny Bones here, since we do have some good stuff to play on Curve. 
if Tiny Bones is on the battlefield, we even get more since we'd be making them discard or we'd just be taking out their threats. Like you, Chatterpang, you're the threat! Are you going to fatal push Tiny Bones? They're going to Primal Might. They fought my commander. Okay. Fine. I'm going to attack your hand. Go blank. You discard too and I'm exiling your graveyard. Your adorable doggy's not going to stick around for long. Work, work. All right, looks like it was a crux of fate and mortality sphere. Two huge pieces of removal. Chatterfang, what are you what are you doing with those board wipes? And I understand mortality sphere. That's just a good way to destroy stuff. <gasps> Lord Skitter makes a rat, which makes a squirrel. And squirrels are pretty much just rats and trees anyway. Rats is squirrels. Rats is squirrels. That massacre worm? Awful tempt. Not going to kill Chatterfang because they would just be able to bring it out next turn. Hit Lord Skitter, that's the source of their tokens. And Cosmonauti! Thank you for the two month resub. Rats is squirrels. Tatterfang swinging in. Ooh, and so are these friends. I will block the squirrel token. Oh, hi, Scraps. Did you hear me talking about squirrels and you got jealous? I think she did. Play Mind Stone. And the land side of Palaka. Caverns. I'm going to sit here, ready with my infernal grasp to snipe that squirrel. If they go to crack open that treasure vault just to make some squirrels, that Chatterfang is going to die. Ooh, that Chatterfang is not going to be making any squirrels today. They turn their land into two treasures. You. Grave Titan. Mm-hmm. Those are very nice tutus you have there. May I? Why, thank you. They're going to lose six life off this. And if they swing in with that Grave Titan, we can always trade it with the Massacre Worm. Though they will get two more tokens. Shatterfang on the battlefield. Attacking in with a Grave Titan gets them two squirrels and two zombies. Boop. And a creature died, so they lose another two life. <gasps> a land? Ah, I wanted you to have to discard two cards. Discarding one? This is hardly the value that I crave. Liliana's Reaver is a stronger blocker. So I'm going to get this out into play. Use their Castle Lockwain to draw an extra card. Ooh, Llanowar Elves. The ramp. So post-combat, they could always, like, sacrifice squirrels to take these out. I'm gonna risk these blocks. Take some damage from the zombies. Ooh, onto the high tower. I just really like this card. It's too spooky for me. This was a buy a box promo way back in, I want to say this is Ravnica Allegiance. 
And it's, um... It's kind of a silly card. When it attacks, it makes your opponent discard. And if a card is put into your opponent's graveyard, however it is put into that graveyard, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. Oh, they let me hit? I thought they would have chump blocked with Llanowar Elf. Okay, cool. Uh, we make them discard. We get a tapped zombie. And the Haunt of High Tower gets a little bit bigger. Yonk Moth! An even stronger sacrifice engine for all of these beautiful creatures here. And a Skull Prophet. Though it does cost them life every time they do this, so it can be a little risky. This means that they're pretty much always going to be able to draw a card, though, if I have Tiny Bones and six mana up. Also, just really good at killing Tiny Bones is... Not very good for killing Haunt of High Tower, though, because you have to be specifically sacrificing tokens. Because it cares about cards being put in graveyards. So, like, right now, they're doing this all with Chatter of the Squirrel on the stack. Just, like, or it going into the graveyard. It just resolved. They have to kill the Haunt. And... Alright, they took it out. They also drew a lot of cards, but now they're at 6 life. I'm at 12 life, though, so it's like, it's not just me. It's both of us. We're both very low. I've taken three. Ooh, Rankle? Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't make them lose life. Uh, we're going to go for Prank Master Rankle. Even the Spankle. We're gonna swing in with our entire board and see how they play. Liliana's Reaver's the only thing being blocked. That's just six direct damage. We win. GG, Chatterfang. Agnes the Dragon Slash. Agnes is a haste rewarding card that gives you treasures when you attack with hasty creatures. Uh, we have a bit of removal. We have a really good just black one drop here. I think that this is an okay start against Ognis, though we don't have that much discard until we get to three mana. Totally fine with me. They're probably going to do a little bit of, uh, I was going to say a little bit of ramping just to get up to four. Now I have the choice of do I want to play the Signet or do I want to hold the Heartless Act? I think we want to hold the Heartless Act. Because I expect them to play an attack with Agnes. Ooh, Rhythm of the Wild! Never mind, give those creatures haste! Now everything will have haste, which is perfect for Agnes. We can still hold up the Heartless Act. But because she already has haste, she's going to enter the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter. So we just play Tiny Bones instead. I know. The, the tragedy of Heartless Act. This is a commander-like format. is a format with commanders in it. Hi, Ruby! Ruby gets a plus one, plus one counter. She already had haste. She taps for mana, though. <gasps> oh, no! They killed my bones! Rude. That's okay. I would, I would do the same in their position. Destroy their bones! Reaver. Big death touchy guy. They didn't choose double haste, though. They don't want to go twice as fast. You only have... Yeah, you're, you're going to be a 4-4, four, four, so when you attack and Ruby will get the buff. Cruelty of Geeks. If they go straight for chapter 1, there's actually nothing in my hand. Sorry! Head empty. Do I have enough to kick this? No, I don't. Still make you discard two. That's the thing we do. Oh, wow. It was all removal.
I'm just going for max damage. Maximum damage! Knight of Ebon Legion will trigger. Coming a 2-3. We also get a zombie, even though there is nothing for this to discard. They search their library for a card. It goes into hand. What do you think that they get? I, I'm going to guess Minsk and Boo. But I really don't know. And on chapter three, they can get a... Uh, oh, it's a, it's a board wipe? Oh, wow. This is a very... Uh, very control -y version of this deck. I guess now they would go for Liliana's Reaver. Since there's no creatures on their side. Okay. Two can play that game. Back and forth we go. Also, is um, eyeing the hive of the eye tyrant, but it can't hit uh, my own graveyard. Nice! The knight enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter. They're not giving it haste, and they cultivate. Agnes just vibing, like, yeah, I don't need to come out. I'm fine up here wearing my fancy little pants. She's actually not wearing pants. The best lizards don't wear pants. They have three mana. That is enough to activate the Knight of Ebon Legion. I'll attack their hand. Oh, who's a Massacre Worm? This is a wild Agnes deck. I'll swing in to go for the trade. My Creechy for your Creechy. They kiss. It's very romantic. Everybody claps. Now Tiny Bones comes in. Sees a card was discarded and gets me under City Plunder. Nice. A plunder from down under. They're going to tutor. This is the second tutor they've had this game. This one only looks at the top third of their library. All right, they they have decisions to make. This is actually one of the downsides, I think, of this card. Is like, oh, you could only do it in alchemy, but it also it's a lot harder to make a decision that small of a pool. You can't just be like, okay, there's one best card in this situation. What do I get? Find the old gods that are ramping. They're ramping. They're ramping some more. They have nothing to discard, so this would just steal a card from them. And I'm kind of down. I love taking cards from my opponent's deck. <gasps> a fabled passage. How nice. So our opponent is going to have to make sure that they hold a card in hand. Because if they don't, I'm going to activate Tiny Bones and I'm going to bonk them for 10. One off from lethal, but if I attack with Tiny Bones, uh, that takes them out. Agnes comes out, but I think Agnes blocks. Oh no, Agnes wants violence. Pack open my Fabled Passage. Not ill-gotten goods at all. And rather than hold up Tiny Bones' ability, I'm just going to swing with the Hive. Exile the one card that's in their graveyard. Boop, boop. Octus now has Death Touch. And an... Third tutor. What is with you in tutors? CDH ass player over here. They haven't tutored for combo pieces yet, though. It's just been like situationally what has been a helpful card, specifically removal. They have six mana. There's quite a bit they could do with it. Oh, 
Oh, they have to think. They gotta decide. What do they want? They're a big Jund deck. What big Jund card do they want? Spiteful banditry! Alright, so they want to kill Tiny Bones and get a treasure. I'm gonna remove Agnes's plus one plus one counter so she deals less damage to me. They're gonna get a treasure. I was actually planning on uh, putting out that meat hook for some damage next turn. They bonk! We attack. And it looks like the Meat Hook Massacre is going to be the end of this game. One, two, three. Deals the final point of damage because a creature is dying. Nice. Rowan, Scion of War. She's a really scary commander because she can discount spells to cause some tragic burn. Rowan is, is really, really good. I have a Rowan deck, and if you don't kill Rowan right away, she's going to cause some problems for you. So we're going to try to cut her off from the things that she can use to lose life to discount her spells and the spells that she's trying to cast at a discount. All right, Rowan. I'm ready to rumble. It's, uh... Here it is. Here go. You there? Ah, they are here. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's take a little looky-loo with their hand. Inquisition of Kozilek sees. Sign in blood and march of wretched sorrow. Uh, I am going to hit that. We see that they have a peer into the abyss. Nice. Very strong card. Cast sign in blood. Next turn, they'll be able to play their commander. And I'll play Tana Bones with my itty bitty bones. I have a discard for next turn, so it's, uh, <laughs> that's my goal there. That would have to be an artifact or creature. Do I think they have an artifact or creature? Uh, maybe. Nope. Planeswalker and enchantment. Scary. I'm going to firmly grasp the goblin and swing in for one. But they didn't discard, so I don't get to draw a card. His bones are so small! Oh, but maybe they'll discard the Fable of the Mirror Breaker? You don't need that pesky little Meat Hook Massacre, do you? Oh, now you draw a Signet. Okay, great. Meat Hook Massacre for X equals 2 takes out Tiny Bones. There's no bones about it! My commander is dead. Play the Phil Spectre. Whenever they discard a card, they'll be losing two life. They drop the Swamp. They can use that to their advantage with Rowan. There she is. It's Rowan! Hi, Rowan! I'm just going to make them discard. Discard two cards. There's two big threats that I can see. One third mystery card. But nothing that they can make copies with for Kiki Jiki. Okay, Languish. And they kept the Onyx in hand. I'll just attack in rather than I'll hold this back to block the reflection. Because I suspect that. They'll get a land. They can use this. Uh, they don't have any pain lands out. Oh, but they have this. So they uh, they bolted this in. They activated Rowan for the discount. And they're plussing because they have a discount of three on any spells they cast this turn. Oh, that is just lands, huh? Boop. Diabolic intent. I wonder what you tutor for here. What is the spell you want? For me, it would be Citadel. Gosh, I love Bolus' Citadel so much. I'm one man away from playing Turgrid. 
I'm taking out Onyx. Swinging in for another one. Sid uh, Adele. I guess they don't have a ton of life, though. Yeah, that makes it kind of hard. No oh my gosh, I cannot read that. Add two mana in, in any color. Okay, great. And a Duress! All right, that hits Elspeth's Nightmare. It's the only thing that I can hit. So he hits it twice. His bones are so small. Ow, also. Uh, they'll just be able to minus to kill Turgrid. So I might actually want to go for the back side of this. They're in top deck city anyway. I can even give them the choice. I'll just do this. They sacrificed their meat hook massacre. They exile the top five. They can cast some of these sweet spells. One in the snow, feed the swarm, big score. And whatever they cast first will be doubled. They did discard for that. And now they've drawn quite a few cards. They have uh, six mana as well. Rowan can swing in for four. Mirror Convert. Good. I got a land. That's important because it means we're worming. Or at least I'm trying to worm. My apartment smells like beef. Chandra has rapidly approached the point where she can just kind of like minus and kill me in one hit, and it's really scary, and I don't like it! Sacrifice a treasure. You will. Oh, it's because my, my partner is making some beef in the other room. Okay. Oh, it's right, because it's either player's turn. Okay, so they're going to abrade this. I'm... But that's that's very fair. What kind of beef? I think it's just ground beef. They got a Torment of Hailfire. That's going to kill me. So Torment of Hailfire, they can cast it for like X equals, I'm going to say seven. And it gets doubled by Chandra. Are you ready to die? I am going to decline, 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 decline. And we get to the second one. I'm already dead and the game is over. A close battle. Arwen, mortal queen. She's the scales commander and she's indestructible, which is rude. Thankfully, we do have a couple ways to make her become sacrificed. Uh, Arwen is really cool. I actually just built an Arwen deck myself, and uh, I'll recommend you check out the video for it. Hi! If you enjoy seeing our opponent's deck, maybe you'll be like, dang, I want to play one of those too. Esper Sentinel. Quite good at getting uh, loaded up with counters to make your opponent pay attacks whenever they cast a non-creature spell for the first time each turn. Hi, I'm Tiny Bones. Very small, got bones. Also with this shattered spire. This turns uh, their plus one plus one counters into more plus one plus one counters. And I'm actually going to let them draw a card here because I think that taking out this sentinel on this turn specifically before they can buff it up is going to be one of the better things I can do. This also lines up a discard next turn for tiny bones. So I can like, I don't know, play hypnotic specter. I love the hippie. Hippie's great. Oh, girl, Autumn. Show me what's in your hand. The One Ring. Okay, yes, we will make them discard the One Ring to rule them all. And I'll also play the Fell Spectre. Make them discard again. They'll lose two life. And I'll draw a card at my end step. He's so teeny tiny. Just look at his bones. My bones are so small. That's just because I'm little. I mean, I'm regular size. I'm average-sized. 
very normal, very regular bones. I could see them doing Signet into Arwen this turn, or just Arwen. Nope, it's Shalai. So, um, something notable. Target player sacrifices a creature. Exile target players. So, uh, yeah. About that. So about that. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of all those. I got a Liliana on the battlefield. Give me the cards. Ooh, Hunt of High Tower. I wanna play Hunt of High Tower. Hi, Arwen. You think this is a very good skeleton bodysuit? Uh, it's just my bones. It's not a bodysuit. These are just my bones. I got apparently a very wide rib cage. I play a zombie. I don't like sacrificing the zombie to the haunt, but then uh, Liliana's left unprotected, so I should probably not do that. Uh, instead, I will. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not like that. Thank you. Uh, Under City Plunder, make them discard the last card in their hand. It was a bloated contaminator. Ooh, we stole a forest. Liliana of the Veil, we are going to make them sacrifice a creature. And I think that that is enough to just win us the game. Um, there's very few cards I can think of that would bring them back from this point in Selesnia, but they're welcome to try. Yes, these are very good bones I have. They're not tiny at all. They're normal sized. Nice two plus one plus one counters. They don't have one mana up to use Arwen's ability. Play another zombie. Make me discard. Uh, I'll discard Hypnotic Spectre because their hand's been empty anyway. Yeah, they're kind of in a top deck city. Gosh, look at you hanging out with yourself. Self-realization. Love to see it. Good game. Tamiyo Field Researcher! She is so annoying and I don't like her. But I have a way to kill her in my hands and that makes me happy. Tamiyo is frustrating least to me, because her design is just get her to ultimate, usually through proliferation, counter spells, board wipes, then the like, and then cast all of your really good spells for free. Great. Let's see if they have a wash away. Tiny Bones has resolved! We also have an eyeball behind a curtain. And we will use that eyeball to look at our opponent's hand. See what they've got! Uh, Swan Song, Cleansing Nova. I hate Tome of the Infinite. Populate. Look, see, two board wipes. Not one, but two. Two board wipes. Uh, I think Tome of the Infinite or Midnight Clock. I'll hit the Tome here. Gives them another card. Who knows? Maybe I just gave them exactly what they want some green mana. Midnight Clock. Bing bong. They don't have double white right now, so they can't cast any of those. Just, I don't think that they're gonna have uh, too much else. Like, this could have hit the, um... Could have hit that. I'm gonna play Sheldred. See if they get another white source. If they do, cool. They wipe the board. If they don't, cool. I'm gonna keep swinging in. They committed Sheldred. Well, it's time to make you do some more discard, then. Bring out Dabriel. Make them drop something from their hand. And I'll also divest. See if they have something else that I can hit. <laughs> more than disdainful stroke. Yeah, you seem real fun, huh, Tamio? 
real fun. I hope you never find another white source. Or even another land. That's right. I think you drop time warp. Oh, I was gonna say swan song. We swing in. If we play a shoulder, she will be countered, and that is okay. Oh, Saruman's trickery! Saving that disdainful stroke. We drew other Davriel! This is the arena only Davriel that makes deals. Wheeling and dealing, you wanna swing into Davriel? I feel like using the Blood Chief's Thirst on that. I'll go for... I'm actually going to start with Davriel. Yeah, you want to counter that. Sacrifice Tiny Bones. To bring out a Rankle. We swing in for six. We make them draw a card and lose a life. And we win the game. Shelob, child of Ungoliance. Shelob is a spider and makes it so when spiders you control kill another creature, usually through a bite spell or a fight spell, they have to deal damage to it, then you end up getting a uh, nice little artifact of food that's made of the creature you killed. It's awesome. Shelob's super cool. I have a Shelob deck. I kind of need to upgrade it. Fewer spiders, more Shelob. It's hard to also have a deck that's, like, reliant on a six-mana commander, so a lot of Golgari good stuff. Gotta supplement. And that's fine. I'll play this Mind Stone. Hope my opponent doesn't mind. Three mana. Any spiders? Or just bank busters? I do kind of have the ultimate card against fight spells. Obliterator, but because they're in black, they'll probably have some other good removal. Oh, like that. Maelstrom Pulse. Can't sacrifice it without any other mana up. So rude. Behold my tiny bones. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna get them with my little bitty bones. They're so small. I was actually discussing how tall is tiny bones. I think tiny bones is like about like maybe eight inches tall. Not very big. Hmm. I'm not seeing any spiders from this guy. If they can get a creature out, they could crew the bank buster. I don't know, but like, Tiny Bones is holding a pendant. The pendant is most of their body. It's a big, gaudy pendant with a little chain, though. And the cobblestones are like medium underneath it. Mind Spike! Getting rid of my Liliana. Probably smart. Well, I'll make you get rid of your... Um... I'll make you get rid of your... Elspeth's Nightmare! Wait, but you could have used that to kill my bones. You know what? That's good. Can't use it to kill my bones. We draw a card! Card draw good. We have four mana. Still got that bank buster ready. And they cultivate. That's going to get them a land in play and a land in hand so they can get at Shelob next turn. Plus this Tiny Bones appears in the Art of Pilfer, which Rezug appears. And Rezug is in the original Art of Dark Bargain, so you have, like, the relative positioning of all of them. That's kind of cute. Got 
Blackthorn. Gutmorn lets us trade cards in our hand by discarding them. Gutmorn's kind of funny. If they didn't have two mana up, I would probably throw them this Infernal Grasp and then, like, turn around and hit it with the Mind Spike. Oh, well, now they don't. So, uh, great. That is, in fact, what I will do. Here, look at this Infernal Grasp you just got. <gasps> A girl for me? I love girl. Girl is awesome. Especially girl of the massacre variety. All right, so uh, they have one mana up. Mmm, look at you and all your good cards. All right, so they have two different kill spells. Remove that. I'm gonna hit binding, because I want one. Please and thank you. And I'm going to let Davriel die, make them discard again. Got ourselves that Infernal Grasp back. But now the Infernal Grasp can be cast for no colored mana, which is very special. Oh, City Stalker Connoisseur. Make them discard the most expensive card in their hand. Currently, virtue of persistence. Oh yeah, this cover of Snake Eater is great. I have two uh, Snake Eater covers on my playlist. This one and the one by 8-Bit Big Band. You should play Shelob. We love Shelob. We love Shelob. You could also just like, I don't know, kill Gutmorn. You could also play the Virtue, like the whole dang Virtue. All right, we're gonna do something kind of weird here. I'm gonna use Infernal Grass to kill my own Gutmorn. This is to blank the other side of this, so they can't get the virtue itself and use it for repeated reanimation. Go get him. Bring out the binding the old gods. Hitting Lolf. in the turn. The reason I didn't go Massacre Girl there is because then Lolth would have quite a bit of um, loyalty, and I wouldn't be able to do much about it. Oh, uh, by the way, I don't have any forests in my deck. At least I don't think I have any forests in my deck. What if I do? Okay, I was just laundering those. Uh, they could attack this with everything. Oh, but then it just dies. Because they know about the Massacre Girl. Pass to attackers. Alright, I'll let them have it. This gives them one more mana this turn. It shuffles my cards. I guess that's kind of nice. And we play girl. I'm ready for everything to die. Everything except for Massacre Girl. She stays alive. It is also very fun if she gets killed by Shelob and comes back as a uh, artifact. Her little whoopity 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 still triggers. I don't know what else to call it. Whoopity 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 whoopity. It seems right. Yeah, the whippity triggers. Finality! Aww, they killed girl. 
So far, I have seen no bite spells. I'm going to replay Tiny Bones because their hand is empty. They can draw cards off Castle Lockthwain. Duress, uh, Baleful Mastery, or go for the throat. Those are your two options to discard, and they chose Baleful Mastery. They draw off Castle Lockthwain, lose a life. They have four green mana. You want to play it? Can you even play it? That make you discard it. You know about the City Stalker Connoisseur. City Stalker coming out. It's a land. So it didn't get discarded there, which tells me that's a land. Well, check this out. Shushwing! I got myself a beetle. Able passage, sacrifice it. Cool costume, thank you so much. I mean, th this isn't a costume. This is just my bones. Moss with Dread Knight? Yes, I get it. You're playing Golgari good stuff. There's no spiders. There's not even bite. Where's the Shelob in this? Where's the spirit of the Shelob? Why are there so many reprints in Lost Caverns of Ixland? Are there a lot of them? I haven't seen a lot of the uh, reveals. I don't have that many swamps. Make you discard, make you dat card. Oh, excuse me, you didn't activate Nykthos. Ugh, didn't activate Nykthos. Okay, fine. Amy, I don't mean to alarm you, but I think a skeleton has taken over your body. I was always like this. You can look at every single video I've ever recorded, and I always look exactly like this. Yeah, I was hoping to have um four mana there, so I could also cast a go for the throat. We have been languished. So they can cast it from their graveyard. If it was still in their graveyard. Alright, Obliterator. Go be a threat. Go be a 5-5 that can't take damage. Without forcing sacrifice. I made them cry. But now Shelly can't flip it. Ah, we'll get another eight cards in our graveyard. Ooh, they could crew in response here to destroy it. My obliterator! Obliterated! But look, it's a spider! Their deck has a spider in it! We found one! What is it? What is this? A creature? Nope. Just get some land. We will fill up that graveyard. One card at a time. Shilob. I see that uh, land there, but I'm actually going to destroy their castle lock, Twain. It's given them way too much card advantage. And I'd like them to stop. And we pass the turn. If we can get eight cards into our opponent's graveyard, um, 
then great. We'll be able to flip children. Eight or more. Death cap cultivator. It's a four four, right? Yeah, it has death touch. Or sorry, it's a two one with death touch. She loves. Oh, she loves it. All right, kill this. They can animate this. So why we attack in first? I'm trying to encourage them to animate it. Bye, she lab. Rituclus is taxidermist. Yes, right, they're similar. It's just looking around like, what's going on? Nothing, don't worry about it, sweetie. They have nothing in hand, so we're going to bring back a creature from our graveyard. Um, like City Stalker. Hi, Shelob! Oh, by the way, this is a spider. Okay. Golden Kumquat, thank you for the 39 month resub. Ishkana! And they have enough mana to activate it once. Good game. They have 10 life. Had to get a classic Tiny Bones win where we actually activate Tiny Bones. Okay, so all their spiders, I guess we're just halfway into the deck. Aw, I didn't let me click the button. Oh well, we still win. Good game! Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brawl Stars. As always, if you'd like to watch me record these live, come on over to twitch.tv slash Amazonian. I stream almost every single day, and I'm not always in costume, but I do have some costume planned for the Halloween season. I hope that you enjoyed my um, on-theme attire. I had a lot of fun getting to wear it. I like to be silly, and it's always good to get to hang out with my good friend Tiny Bones. I do think Tiny Bones is going to be in an upcoming set with a new card. It looked like there was a tiny skeleton man in Outlaws of Thunder Junction. So we might be seeing Tiny Bones again, not soon, but like in a year. And I'll take it because I want to hang out with my good friend Tiny Bones. Thank you so much for watching and have a brawlful day.